Hey guys, Ryan from Geek.com, and today I want to show you how to make better use of HTC Zoe. Uh, that's the new headlining camera feature in, uh, in the HTC One and presumably future phones with the Ultra Pixel camera branding. Uh, so what Zoe looks like at first is just a, uh, a three second video, kind of like a Vine or something like that. Um, it is a little bit clearer, obviously. Um, but you can uh, you can share these these little snippets with uh, with HTC Share, or you can send them you can send them elsewhere and just give people the web link, and that's kind of fun. But what is actually happening behind the scenes is that when you take a Zoe, each uh, each one actually contains about twenty high res stills, so that lets you do a couple of interesting things. Um, first, I'm, I just want to show you what uh, it looks like when you take a Zoe with the camera. So over here on the left. See, there's this button that turns blue when you're in Zoe mode. And then you just press the shutter. And you can see it fills up with red there. And when it's done, the Zoe is complete. So then you can go right into the, uh, into the, the gallery and see it shows you what you just took. That's not uh, super useful to demonstrate. So... Um, I'm actually going to use um, this one. So uh, if you've ever taken a picture of a dog, you know that they don't necessarily like to look at you when you're actually trying to take the picture. I imagine it's probably similar with small children. So what you can do is you just take a Zoe, and hopefully somewhere in those three seconds they will look at you and do something adorable. So um, what you can do is after the Zoe plays, you can, you can scrub through the video and find a frame that you want. So if I want this one, then you just hit the menu button and you save the frame. And it takes the high res uh, picture that matches up with that and just drops it into your gallery. So that's pretty handy. Uh, this is really useful for big groups of people. So instead of taking, you know, five, six, seven pictures until everybody looks good, you can just take a Zoe and you get essentially, you know, 20 pictures in three seconds, which is pretty cool. Um, so then another thing that you can do is if you're doing uh, some sort of, you know, just snapping pictures at a sporting event, you probably have a lot of movement in the, uh, in the frame, so you might not get the picture you want the first time. So what you can do with this is you can, um, you can do the same, the, the frame saving with this, but um, another cool thing is if you go into, into edit and then retouch, you can do a sequence shot and see it, it will stitch the various frames together into this this neat kind of panorama thing and it uh, it picks the frames that it thinks are are best it's usually actually pretty good at about picking the right ones so that's cool and then uh another one you have to have a actually a face to have this work but the always smile is essentially just automatically doing the frame choosing for you it's just trying to detect uh, when somebody's smiling and just pulls those frames out. You can do basically the same thing just by scrubbing through yourself. Um, but it's probably not going to... Yeah, I didn't see any faces in this, obviously. Um, and then the other neat thing about Zoe's is that when you take them, it actually makes your gallery kind of, um, kind of fun and animated. You can see the Zoe actually it plays uh, on this screen. And you can see the, the dog looking up there. Um, so that's pretty cool. And then I just wanted to show you the um, frame that we took out uh, is right there. So you see it dropped that right into the, uh, into the gallery. So, you know, the only bad thing about Zoe is that if you have your Google Plus photo upload connected to it, I think that it is still essentially uploading all of those pictures. So it makes it kind of a mess if, if you do use that a lot. But otherwise, Zoe is pretty neat. Uh, you, just, you just have to, you know, dig through the... Uh, through these settings, basically, to, to find the good stuff, because most of this is, uh, is, is just for still photos. I mean, you can do the, the eye enhancer, the lighting, and the smoothing, smoothing and everything with, with any picture. It's just these, uh, these features that use the multiple frames that are unique to, uh, to the Zoe's. And it's, it's a, a good feature that you should probably try out, because it's, uh, it's, it's only on the HTC One right now. So uh, take advantage. Thanks for watching.